Hey, this is Amber Hurdle, author of The Bombshell Businesswoman, How to Become a Bold, Brave Female Entrepreneur. And I just want to go over one of the tools that I recommend in um, the technology chapter, and that is G Suite by Google Cloud. Um, if you're familiar with Gmail or Google Calendar, it's like that, only it's specific, uh, it's specific to organizations. So, um, I just want to take you through a quick walk and then show you some of the ways that I use it in my business so you can kind of see behind the scenes. But as you can see here, um, it's it's an all-in-one suite. So if you've ever worked like in a corporate environment and you've been like in an enterprise environment where you have shared drives and everybody has, you know, amber at your company.com type email addresses. This is the super crazy affordable high level of tech support solution for your small business. So you can see here, um, there's Gmail. Again, I have amber at amberhurdle.com instead of amberhurdle at gmail.com. Um, you have Hangouts, which is like a, um, you could either do video conferences um, inside or outside of your organization. You can do chat on there. Um, so basically, it's it's where you can connect and communicate. So you've got your Gmail, your calendar, Google Plus, social network, if, if you want to use that. Um, and then your Hangouts, like I just talked about. Then you had your creation side of things. So just like you'd have Microsoft Word or... or uh, if you had Excel or um, slides is more like PowerPoint or Keynote, this is all living in the cloud and we'll get to that in a minute. So this is where all of those type of files are stored and then you have uh, management control. So if you let go of somebody or if you need to freeze somebody's account or if you need to add an additional person, you're fully in control of that. Um, it works across devices. So whether I'm on my iPad or even a non Apple product, if that's ever possible for me to be on um, or whatever computer I'm on, I can access all of my files and then I can share them. And this is key. So instead of downloading a Word document and then attaching it to an email and then sending it to a team member and then that team member making changes, attaching it to an email and sending it back to me, it's like which one is the most recent version? All of that goes away once you get into Google Drive. So let me show you that. Anyone who has an amberhurdle.com email address has access to Google Drive and then I can decide who to share documents with based on the folder or based on the specific document. And I could even control if they can just see the document or if they can um, edit it um, or if they can share it themselves. So let's take a look at that. As you can see, this is just like a Word document. I come over here right now. This document's private only to me. Um, of course, I need to name it. We'll just skip that for now and I can get a shareable link. So anyone, um, anyone at Amber Hurdle coaching and training, we call ourselves Amber Consulting now, just haven't gotten around to <laughs> changing that forever ago. Um, they can edit or they can comment or they can view or I can make it public on the web. So if you wanted to put something on your website with a link that anybody can get to, then you can just store that in Google Drive instead of um, taking up space on your website or you can send um, anyone the link and again it's not public they don't have to log in they can just access the document um, and and again you can restrict whether they just see it or if they can edit it themselves um, and then also you can restrict certain people so right here you could do view edit comment and then you just save that and then you copy that link and then you embed it or you save it with whoever. So this is like a Word document. And then there's also Excel. It has all the same type of formulas. I mean, I do everything in Google Drive. I'm so fearful that I would have it on my local computer and then I lose the computer or it crashes or whatever. Right now, everything is stored in the cloud and it's fabulous. Um, in the same way, I just want to show you you know, this looks just like Gmail. Um, and when I reply to things or, or get things, um, or I start an email, it comes from amber at amberhurl.com. There's no masking. That is my email address through um, G Suite. 
and um, my calendar I took all of my calendars off so you didn't know all my business but you know it looks just the same as as a normal Google Calendar but I can share access to this calendar with team members and then you know over here you can see some of the other calendars so there's my my main calendar birthdays our content calendar um, I used to keep my dinner menu on here um, I don't do that anymore I have a different process for that I link my personal calendar to it so it'll pop up reminders and then um, I have a certain person's hours on here just because it's a little um, she's part-time and it helps us both keep on track so and then you could always add other calendars too um, like um, you know holidays and that sort of thing and it's all stored in the same place um, now you could also do Google Sites, and I'm going to do that as a different video. Uh, but you can create websites super easy through Google Sites. Um, I use that as my company intranet, meaning only people within my organization who have that AmberHurdle.com email address and access can can get on this website. And so that's where we store everything. So if you need to get to training, if you need to get to um, where something is located, if you want to know more about one of your team members, um, bios, all those sorts of things are in, it's a one-stop shop. So whether we're storing images in um, Dropbox or if we're on Google Drive um, or if we have training that we watch on YouTube, it's very easy to access through this particular Google site. And y'all, this is Free. This is part of what well, I say it's free. You're paying for it every month, but it is part of what it is that you're paying for each month, which is um, pretty darn inexpensive. Um, so this is what your admin control panel looks like. You could add or remove users. You can update your billing. Um, there's different apps that you can include. Um, we use various apps that help us uh, streamline our, our processes. Um, I am not a big company. I don't have like 30 people reporting to me, but having everything centrally located like this helps the team members that I do have have continuity and consistency and it gives us a level of professionalism when we're dealing with the outside world um, because we have it together and um, and we also look like we are an enterprise type level of business um, so you can even get reports you know who's using what when when's the last time somebody logged in all that kind of stuff so let's go back and look at the pricing now, if you're using Gmail for free or, heaven forbid, something like AOL that shows that you absolutely are beyond not tech savvy, um, I very much encourage you to invest a small $5 or $10. Here for the $10 um, option, you get um, your business email through Gmail, everything that we talked about, shared calendars, unlimited cloud storage. I mean, that's just crazy train. Um, and then you can archive different things, audit reports, $10 per user per month. Now, if that's not, you know, if you have three people, that's $30 a month. You might want to look at um, the $5. You don't have that unlimited um, uh, cloud storage, but you do have 30 gigabytes. So that's, you know, still quite a significant amount and that's $5 a month. So if you have yourself and two team members, that is $15 a month to have access to all of this and to never get lost in the shuffle of attachments or, you know, sacrificing your professionalism and that company branding. Remember your brand is very important is it's it's what sells you what differentiates you so if you are a business and you're doing business as this is amber from amberhurdle.com versus amberhurdle at gmail.com but i have amber hurdle consulting that just looks like you're playing at a different level and i dare say that that is worth five dollars a month so i encourage you go to gsuite.google.com and check this out and if you do end up using it no you can call these people and they will help you. Their customer service is amazing. You could pick up the phone. You can't do that with Gmail. That alone is worth $15 a month. Let us know if you decide to use it. Tweet to us um, at Amber Hurdle, at Amber Hurdle on Instagram, or you can find me on Facebook, um, Amber Hurdle Fan. Take some pictures, let us know, and be sure to use the hashtag bombshellbiz.